The next thing we're going to do is add our content for our pages into the channel um, via the Expression Engine control panel and finally make our pages, or at least the, the main page content, dynamic in Expression Engine. So to do that we're going to come under Content, Publish, and right now because there's only one channel set up, Publish will automatically take you to that one channel. When you have multiple channels set up, as we'll see later, Publish will give you the option of what channel would you like to publish to. When we click on Publish Content, we see the pages or the um, publish field for the publish page for the channel that we're in. We see that there are two fields that are automatically in Expression Engine, the title and the URL. And then bef beneath that, we see the page content. And this is the custom field that we set up before. So now we finally have a visual look at what custom fields look like in Expression Engine. This is a text area one that we created. These are two text input ones um, that already existed. And if we look through these other pages, the date, there are no categories set up, but there are multiple check boxes and options. We can see that there are a bunch of these. Now these are on a very technical level, also custom fields, but they're set up natively in Expression Engine. However, if we had not set up this page content, all we would have been able to add to our entry is the title and the URL title. Now, we're going to use our titles and URL titles very specifically in Expression Engine. You're going to see in this example a place where Expression Engine, again, is very flexible. So commonly, for the title field, you would put in the title of the page itself. However, we're going to do things a little bit differently, and we're going to use our title field as the name of the page as we want to find it. So this title will only reflect finding the page from within Expression Engine, and it will not show up on the actual page itself. Now this is for a specific reason that we'll talk about in a moment, but know that in some other examples, and very commonly in Expression Engine, this title is used as the actual um, title of the page, which will display on the page itself. We're not going to use it quite in that way. Now you'll notice that the URL title updated itself based off of the title that we typed in and that it's spacing them using, spacing the words using a hyphen. This was the setting that we changed earlier and had we left it underscore our URL title would have looked like this. Now we're going to set our URL titles to something very specific um, and in the case of our home page we're going to change it to home. For page content, we're going to go to our home page via our browser and we're going to grab the text for the page content area of the page itself. Now in our instructions here, notice that we said enter in the content for the page including the title and that's our little bit of bold styling. So I'm including the H1 title. I'm going to type in H1 and then I'm going to leave this line without any markup because the markup that we selected was XHTML. And what Expression Engine knows is that if I add markup to this line, this is going to be an H1. But if I don't add any here, it'll automatically add um, paragraph tags. And that's very convenient for us. Now we could just stop here, but notice that the home page also has a big feature image. Now if this is something we want to easily update by the control panel, then let's go ahead and add that to our entry here. Before we do that, just take note that for this graphic, it is wrapped in a paragraph tag with a class of feature. And that's just allowing us to do some specific identifying um, of the graphic itself and styling for it. So when we add in this graphic, we want to wrap it inside of a paragraph tag with a class of feature. So we'll, we'll do that in a moment. To import the image, because we already have it um, uploaded to our server, we can click on the image graphic here and we could either upload it or go to our images through the file manager. Now this is another view of the file manager within a published page and we can just select, we want, it looks like the feature slide image, select alternate text, image for the home page. 
and then notice how it inserts in the HTML right there. Now this is great for um, web developers, you know, we could see this, we can understand it, and in fact we're going to go ahead and wrap it inside of this P class feature. However, for um, other users or for potential clients, if this isn't something that you think your clients can handle, which, which is a good number of them, there are two options out there. EE Garage, which is Levi Graham's Expression Engine add-on site, and he has a free tiny MCE field type. And you can see here, these are all the possible options for it. Um, quite advanced, and it's free, which is great. The other one is from Expression Engine Add-on Developer Extraordinaire, um, Brandon Kelly. And um, the one that he has is called Wigwam, which we see here. And this is a paid add-on, which is not uncommon um, for Expression Engine, but he's gone ahead and skinned the entire control panel uh, to fit very elegantly into Expression Engine. And it also has this built-in file manager, which is very nice. Um, so those are some other options if this format will not work for you. However, for us, it's going to work. It's our portfolio site, and we have this home page done. Let's go ahead and save it out. Now you see um, one of the lesser pages in the Expression Engine Control Panel, which is the View Entry page, which doesn't show us much in the context of our site. Um, it just shows us the, the markup of, of what we just entered in. Um, if we want to go back and look at our content, we will go under Content Edit, and we see our home page listed right here. Now let's talk about this title of home page. On our site, our title is actually Welcome to My Portfolio Site. And if we were to use this originally for the title, you don't have to follow along and make this change on your own. And come back and look at it from within Expression Engine. Notice that the title is Welcome to My Portfolio Site. This is something that um, clients can potentially have a problem with in Expression Engine when there's a lot of entries listed, um, some of them pages, some of them other dynamic content that it could um, all get mixed in together and it could be hard to find exactly what they're looking for. So for example, one may not know that Welcome to My Portfolio site is in fact the home page and they want to go in and edit this. So for that reason only, to make the uh, navigation and finding of items easier, we're going to use these titles so I know very easily that that's my home page. So now that I have the content in, let's go ahead and update our template for allowing us to see this new dynamic content in Expression Engine.